Yeah. Yeah, you're good now. All right. So let's see. Lower this fucking thing. Um, uh, that doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, I'm putting you on the phone thing. I mean, it's a, you know, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. So, how are you, man? I was diagnosed with COVID Is about it? a month and a half ago. Oh, wow. They said, are you, are we taping now? Are you doing yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, we are. All right. So just as long as, because it's really weird. Uh, they said, uh, uh, I went in for a uh, sleep study. Nothing to do with this. And the doctor said, hey, why don't you take a test? Okay. Took the test, you're positive. Mm -hmm. What does that mean now? Go home. Don't get out of your room for 14 days. Have somebody bring food to your door and let me know if you feel sick or if you lose smell or you, nothing, not a thing. And the 14 days were up and uh, they said, they gave me a letter so I can go on the set and so I can work because it stays in your system for a month, right. three months. Three months. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, so tell me about you. Who I, are I you mean, in I, one room wearing a, uh, Cobra Kai thing, <laughs> and I have to tell you, how, however you think that you are involved or just think it's great and it's wonderful, you weren't around when they made the movies and everybody thought that. And this combination, what they've done is, <laughs> only word I could think of is awesome. It's just yeah. awesome, really. It they, uh, you've seen season three. I have. I've seen season three, all of the movies, um, all of the movies, like even the Hillary Swank one, Jaden Smith, all of the original movies, one through three. So I've, I've seen it all. It's just, I thought it was so amazing. Yeah. I'm not going to cuss because probably young people like you will see this, but I thought it was so blank amazing <laughs> that the girl that he saved uh, uh when the tor tornado came and he saved that little girl <laughs> she ended up being the vice president of the bank uh, I, just, I thought that was because the thing i love so much about it too is that like they didn't have a character from the originals just returned for no reason like chosen he saves daniel at the end um and also, I actually have a question for you. I, I love the double dip line where you're eating dinner with them at um, the- Yeah, at, at uh, uh, his house. Yeah, and I was wondering if that was a reference to your restaurant, because I knew, no, you owned a restaurant called The Dip, right? Yes. And our, the restaurant's uh, theme or was dip, double dip, or submerge. Right. And I have to tell you, I'm not really sure. Uh, usually I'm the one that comes up with an ad lib, but I think, I think his wife, uh, she came up with this. And as soon as I heard the word dip, I like, oh, okay. And I know how to dip. So it was a good scene. The first time I went there for season one, everybody was working there butt off they were all excited and you know youtube's gonna we're gonna air it on youtube and all this stuff they have now these same people surpass greatness so you can't tell me that if you got a good idea you can't start at youtube it works yeah, the, my dream, you know, one day going in the future as I grow up is to have my own TV show. And that's pretty much because of Cobra Kai, just seeing what the writers did. And like, you know, I, I write stories sometimes because I enjoy it and try and get into the world of that. Because I'd, I'd, I'd love to have, you know, my own TV show when I was when I'm older, you know, whether that's like a sitcom, a drama. So. 
Okay, so listen, my youngest son is a writer. Right. He graduated Northridge. He's been on sets with me, but he's a writer and he's still trying. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. And he's a good writer. Mm -hmm. So you're, he, I heard about this at the last, last uh, uh, semester that he was changing from journalism to uh, screenwriting. You have the luxury, and I don't know anything about you. <laughs> you have the luxury to be living in the United States, right. which no matter how cuckoo we get, we still the best. <laughs> you have the possibility to actually do your dream. Think about uh, uh, even that uh, uh, that Indian movie where the guy uh, started. To, uh, he got out of India and he became famous. And it's not easy, but it is can be done. Look at uh, you ever watched the Goldbergs? I've never seen the Goldbergs. I haven't. But I. I watched the Goldbergs with my two sons. One is 42 and the other one's 38. And it reminds us of the 80s. And it's written by the guy who's, it, it was his, his show. He wrote about his life. Yeah. Write what you know. And, uh, you know, I mean, you got to come up with an idea and then you got to write. Mm -hmm. And then you got to write the treatment, then you got to, You've got time. Go. Where do you live? What area? Um, I live in New York. Oh, Jesus, man. NYU is over there. Go. You got to graduate. You got to go. Because let me tell you. At 13, I decided this is what I want to do. 13 years old. Uh, I remember going to PE and they gave me the football. And all these people are fucking charging at me. <laughs> and I put the football down on the ground. And I walked to the theater. Right. Because if anybody is going to come and jump on me for the football, it's going to be coordinated and choreographed. I don't want to die on the field. <laughs> so I, I, I'm watching football right now. But I, I don't know. Too much trouble. So... I was a theater arts major in uh, Cal State East, East LA. I was a theater arts major at Cal State Long Beach. I did everything I could. I had done 120 different uh, jobs before the job came that got me famous. Now, the job came that got me famous. Or at? And I never said a word in English. Never said an American word in that movie. And the other big movie that I did was The Artist. And it was black and white and silent. Never oh, wow. Silent. So we're going like way, way back now. No, no, no. We're no. going uh, seven years from now. Seven years ago, our movie, The Artist, won the Academy Award. And it was a silent and black and white film. Oh. Or five years before that. Yeah, right. I mean... Obviously, I told I told the director when I went to school, even then they didn't have classes on silent film mm -hmm. and it was an experience. Uh, so and all I'm telling to you is don't bullshit yourself. <laughs> Get an education. You got to know. You know why? I'll tell you why. The same thing. I, Cobra Kai or anywhere else you get on the set. Hello, hello, how are you, how are you? Action. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know if you're in the light, if you don't know the other guy fubbed a, a line, my college professor used, used to say, get out, we'll get somebody else. Yeah. There's a thousand people lined up want to do that. Exactly. So. You, you, no matter what you do, and there's actually, you know, a guy that owns a pizza place near me, and I was in there the other day, and he's saying to me, he goes, you know, I started out as a busboy because I wanted to learn, and his business is the most successful pizza place, right? And he's, he's saying, you know, um, I, I started out 
busboy at a diner because I wanted to learn the restaurant industry. And he goes, you know, then I became a waiter and then I learned how, and then I kind of looked to see how the food works, how the whole food industry works. And now he has this successful business. It's hard to even place an order uh, over the phone with them because you can't even get in. That's how busy the lines are. But, you know, I've got a few uh, Cobra Kai questions for you. So how did they uh, exactly approach you? Or did you approach them about the role of Armand in for season? No, they approached me. Yeah. They had seen me run around naked and I guess they liked it. I, I, I mean, um, you know, when I told everyone, uh, you know, I'm interviewing Armand from Borat, or uh, uh, sorry, Armand from Cobra Kai, they're like, oh yeah. Um, and he, they're like, I don't know who's, and I was like, Ken DeVitin. And he was like, and everyone I said to is like, oh, the naked guy from Borat. And I was like, yeah. So um, I know Borat had the sequel, but Asmat wasn't in that. They they made me an offer I rejected. Yeah, that's that's how this industry works, right? With uh, the business and everything. No, no, no. That's not how they work. <laughs> when I got Borat, they paid me less than the bears. What? Yeah, I was supposed to just sit in the ice cream truck and drive. They didn't want him driving and stopping at the same time. So it was just gonna be one guy. So I asked the director, how do I get more time? Because they, they paid me to just do what I did. Wow. And he said, be dressed be in the van at 6 a.m. every morning and maybe he'll call on you because there was no script. It was just an outline. So everywhere he went, he got out and he'd yell, Azamat, Azamat. And they had 650 hours of tape. You only saw an hour and a half. Right. So uh, when they called me after 13, 14 years and they, the amount of money they offered me, I said, no, thank you. I said, I hope it's a half, half as funny as the first one. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people, I listen, I made Get Smart and for sure, we all talked about Get Smart 2 and coming back and Steve Carell and stuff, didn't happen. Right. So those things happen. So I'm sure, you know, I was gonna ask you like, what set was a better part to be on? Was it Borat or was it Cobra Kai? Like which set was more fun? No, no comparison. Okay. Borat was uh, guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla warfare. We never, we never had any permits to do anything. We never had a sound stage. We, everything we did was against the law. Oh, wow. I so. Uh, and, and we got the possibility of arrested three or four times and uh, we had to run and <laughs> no, no, escape really? all of that stuff because uh, he worked, he had a work visa. So if he got caught by the cops, they'd send him back and we'd have to finish the film. So we never got arrested. But a lot of those people, they just thought we were dummies. Mm -hmm. And Apparently, there, there's a release that people sign if they're in a restaurant and you know, you're know you gonna have a camera and stuff. So I was told that the release said that these two guys from Borat and you're gonna be on the film and anybody in Kazakhstan or the universe wants to watch it, they can. So we got a lot of we got sued a lot. We got a lot of complaints on. Uh, and then I went and I talked to the uh, people that do the, the, the legal department. All of them say universe. They all say we can show it anywhere in the universe. But when people put Borat and anywhere in the universe together, they think that we're such idiots that we wrote this thing that they don't care, they sign it. So everybody was on uh, a waiver. Mm -hmm. What else? Give me a total Cobra Kai question. Hey, I got a lot of um, Cobra Kai questions for you. Uh, so 
were you did the writers the big three did they reach out to you to be in season four yet i am sworn to secrecy <laughs> dang it i need i need it i need the info um no. all all i can tell you is i don't know mm -hmm. okay. i don't know now now here's oh 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 you know what yeah i, I they have made they, you, uh, they sent us an email and it's allowed for me to tell you that i don't know i don't know that's good enough um so did they well, obviously you don't know, but after season three, did they give you a spectrum of an idea of when they expect to release season four? Do they have any idea? Can, can you share with us when they expect? No? Well- But I can tell you one thing. Will you be happy? It's, it's gonna be better than the other three. So it's gonna be better than like season- That's our objective. Our objective is to be better than before. And now it looks like that uh, Johnny and Ralph are going to form a, their own dojo. And maybe they're going to kick somebody's ass. Because I got to tell you, I'm, I, as you saw, uh, I was, me and my guys were pretty shaken up. So, yeah. Uh, Maybe. I, I, I want to get, I want to get my revenge. Oh, okay. Is that maybe? Oh, yeah. Is that a I wanted to do it right there. Oh, yeah. I told the producers, I said, wait a minute. You know, I'd go get another hundred guys. Said, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll get your revenge. So maybe we see an Armand uh, and a bunch of his guys fight against Chris in season four. I don't know. You know what's really funny? I'm going to tell you something. I made a movie. I don't even know if you can find it. It was with Paul Servino playing the Shah of Iran. And it was, a, uh, it was called uh, Price of Freedom. And, it was a, and then it was about the revolution originally in the 80s before uh, when President Carter, which is way before you were born. But it was all about that, that 80s thing and stuff. And I got to tell you, uh, that they were, I'm going to kick some ass when I get back. That's what I, I want. Actually, I, I would prefer if me and uh, 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 Cove got together. But <laughs> I made a movie, like I was telling you, I made a movie and somebody, there's a guy there that played the religious mullet and he would bring people and he would say you are responsible for stealing money from the government and they would say no 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 and it was all dramatic and then they would he would order their heads to be chopped off oh, now i i made the movie in uh, hoboken oh hoboken i i we screened the movie at the hoboken film festival a year after I never knew that the mullet that was killing people in the movie, who was the worst fucking character you could think of because uh, some guy uh, uh, gave somebody uh, $40 or something and that was against the law and all these laws that the, the charade. You know who the mullet was that was killing people? Yeah. Sensei. Sensei. Yeah, it was it was Martin Cove. Oh, so he was it. And we were in a movie together. And when I when we finished the movie and we had a premiere, that's when I recognized him. I said, "Man, I didn't know that was you. That was him." <laughs> and then he started working on. He's my point is, he's a very good actor. Yeah, Cove. He was in Rambo too. Uh, in yeah, Rambo movies with Sylvester Stallone. He so. But but I think they're bringing Karate Kid back perfectly. They are. It's like there's so many.
different franchises in where they try and bring it back. I don't know if you're a Star Wars fan, but obviously they made like the new Star Wars movies. And at first I was like, with the first one, The Force Awakens that came out, I was like, okay, this is pretty good. Then The Last Jedi came out, I was like, oh, they should have left it. Okay, I watched the first three Mm -hmm. with uh, Harrison Ford. Right. And during COVID, I watched them again, but Mm -hmm. I have not watched any of the new ones. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know. They don't, they, 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 uh, it just never got to me. I think the last, I, I did see, uh, uh, cause I thought there was an Armenian guy, an <laughs> Armenian character, uh, but it ended up being, uh, oh God, it was somebody I know too. Uh, anyway, what was the name of the guy? He had an IAN, but it was a, a black actor, an African-American guy, and he's a great actor. And mm-hmm. I, I thought, oh, okay. Because, I mean, who knows what goes on in space? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so, the first time I was at Cobra Kai, they told me it's a YouTube show. Yeah. And I said, I don't want to do a YouTube show. Exactly, exactly. And then it comes to Netflix. And, like, this is my experience with Cobra Kai. Like, I watch it on YouTube. And I remember, I remember uh, Infinity War came out and I saw the trailer and I, I was, I'm a, I've always been a huge Karate Kid fan. And my parents have grown up. My uncle was a big fan of it. So he grew up showing me the movies and stuff. And so I was watching Infinity War and it wasn't in like the actual previews. It was like the thing, if you get to the theater like super early, they show it. And so I saw it, it was Cobra Kai and I was like, ah, this trailer looks pretty bad. I don't know if I wanna watch it. So then I go home that night with my dad and I see that, you know, they have the two episodes for free. So I watched the first two episodes and I'm watching I'm like, yeah, this is the best thing I've ever seen. We need to order YouTube premium right now. So we order it, we binge the thing in a day. We get, and like, I tell all my friends, you gotta watch Cobra Kai. And they're like, YouTube show, I don't want it. And then it comes to Netflix and everyone watches it and like, this is the best thing ever. This is amazing. And the cool thing too, which is what I think has a big impact on it being such an amazing show. Like everyone I've talked to that I've interviewed that's been on the show on the set, they all said, you know, everyone gets along so well. There's no bickering. It's just a really a uh, fun set to be a part of. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Everybody's cool. I mean, the guys from the old show, Ralph is it's just a nice, nice, sweet guy. Mm-hmm. They all are. Uh, until the camera starts, then they take their sides. But uh, no, I really, really think, I mean, even when it was a YouTube thing, I watched the episodes I was in and I watched the first two free and I thought, yeah, they got something here. I like it. Yeah. And my test is my 37 year old writer. And when he saw the uh, uh, first season on uh, Netflix he was sold so and and I go into his room and there's Karate Kid movie going on or something he's like really into it and I think I think there's good 10 episodes here because you got these kids that are going to grow up and you'll get less of Ralph and Johnny and these kids that young uh, 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 there's the two kids One's living with Johnny, and oh, right. Miguel, and the other one, and the other one was the one that got uh, paralyzed for a while. Oh, Miguel, Miguel. Yeah. yeah, I I can tell you that Miguel, and also the guy with the short hair, he's got hair. He he started dating uh, Ralph's daughter. Oh, really? Oh, Robbie, right? Yeah, Damn. those two guys. That's, and I'm just mentioning two. Those two guys, you keep seeing over and over and over again in movies, on television shows. Those two guys I know are great. And everybody else is so good. It's a great set to learn. And, uh, you know, like uh, uh, Save the Bell. Yeah. Saved by the Bell, everybody's a star. Yeah. And now they're rebooting it. 
Yeah, I saw that on, uh, I think it was Peacock. Also, um, so I know, you know, I've talked to a couple of people on the show and, you know, on the team and stuff, and they've, they're over and over again, I've heard the people, the writers, they've come out and said, they said, you know, we think, you know, Netflix is cool with us going six to seven seasons. Have you heard anything about the, how, about the length of how long the show could go? No, no, but I, I, I would easily say seven, eight, ten. It's there. These kids that are the ones that are fighting, yeah. at what point are they too old to be the kids that are fighting? They will become the senseis. Exactly. And, and you can go on. So I think they can, but that's all up to them. Now, everybody on the show and producer uh, uh, people, all of them, are in demand now, yeah. you know? I even told them, I, I, uh, uh, I, last, last season, I told them I've got two shows and I sent them the, the scripts and stuff. These guys are, these three guys, they're, they are the next generation of uh, the great, great writers like Aaron Sorkin, and John Wells and these guys, they're great. And they're nice people, you know, most of the time, but I don't know, they, they haven't gotten to it yet, but most of the time people, even halfway in that, in, on that freeway of becoming famous, turn into assholes and, he, and they're not, they are such friendly, nice guys. Is there, Anyone, so have you, you've seen all the Karate Kid movies, right? Yeah, so, long time ago. Yeah, I mean, is- I are, took my children. Are, are you familiar with like Terry Silver and Mike Barnes? No. Yeah. Um, so has, has there been any, any talk with Netflix about, you know, obviously season four has been confirmed, but is there a good chance that Netflix will renew it for a season five? Way way above my pay rate mm -hmm. but i i i have such great respect for netflix that i i think that would be a, a suicidal thing to do so i think they'll have it as long as these episodes and remember on youtube these episodes were good mm -hmm. so as long as they stay good and relevant you'll be getting them that, well, that makes me very happy as a, a big fan of the show. So you're a big NFL. Are you an NFL fan? So are the are the Raiders your favorite team? Favorite team. Cool, man. Cool. cool. And they are not relevant anymore this season. Yes. This is the playoff games, and Raiders didn't make it. I, I'm, a, I'm a big uh, Giants fan, so I, I was very sad. I was happy when the Giants won, but then the Eagles lost, which is very disappointing as a Giants fan. That's why there's next year. Yeah, oh, there's always next year, you know, and that's, and that's in life, too, with anything, because there's always tomorrow. There's always the next minute. Even when things go bad, there's the next hour. You know, it goes by hours, by minutes, by years. And there's always something to look forward to. And, you know, one of my good friends, he always has this saying, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Like, as you go. You know, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. But I got to tell you, you got to stay positive. You got to do your work. You got to focus on what you're doing. And yeah, it, it, it can. Why are you laughing? Oh. <laughs> How many people tell you to focus? But. You're counting them now. You can use <laughs> your fingers. <laughs> How many people tell me to focus? A lot. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like my generation, especially with like the phones and technology, you know, they all have a lot of the short attention spans. So. Yes. The, the 15 minute is now down to three minutes. Uh, and people putting things on uh, uh, YouTube and Instagram, three minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's your fault. <laughs> 
It is. I I 100% agree. So now, you know, there's three seasons of the show. So now, do you have a ranking of the season? Obviously, they're all great. They're, this is one of the shows where so far there hasn't been a bad season. But, like, comparing it from good to great, what would – do you have a ranking of the seasons or even just, like, in terms of the Armand character, which season you thought was his best to his worst? I I I, I don't want – to say, but I think it's true, the third season was awesome because, because it got him and his wife on the same table, on the same page. Uh, we now have uh, Johnny who's, who's gonna be a, we're gonna change him all the way and make him a good guy. And we've got the number one bad guy back. Everything's fitting in places. It, 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 it's really hard to do that writing. You know, you got to bring him in at the right time. You got to put that here. You got, but it's not easy. So, uh, but but I think uh, I I think they've got a. I think network is going to come and bug the shit out of them, and they're not going to move. I think where they're at is fine. I I appreciate Netflix because Netflix has given a chance to people yeah. who, yeah, otherwise you'd never hear about them. Um, so is it, um, so do you have any like shows in production or movies? Yes. Know, big things yes. coming up? Tell us a little bit about that. What well, coming up, what's the future? 2019, I spent the summer uh, in Ma Miami, Portugal and London. I shot, and I think it's going to be a television series called Mr. Mayfair. Oh, I feel like I've heard of something about that. That just sounds very... Yeah, it's Armand DeSante, Stephen Bauer, and me. And it's really, it's, it's really good because it's, it's three mobsters that, they don't want to be mobsters. They, the, the uh, Armand left... New York and came to London and opened a nightclub and uh, we finally did something bad so we had to get the hell out of New York so we went and found our best friend and then comedy and action in in one scene I beat the heck out of somebody with a hammer I mean I'm hitting him in the face and blood strapping on my face and that night I'm singing at the club with the other two guys and we're dancing and stuff. It was just, it was like Sopranos. So that's coming out. Now, I don't know how, how much this uh, uh, virus has messed up, but I went back to finish in uh, 2000. Oh, it was 2018, 2009, 2020. I went back. And I only did one scene because he, uh, uh, Trump closed uh, uh, Europe and they just put me on a, on a plane and said, get the hell out of here. So I did the one scene and now I've done the ADR, the voiceover and everything. So we're waiting for it to find a home. Yeah, hopefully, I mean, Netflix, maybe Hulu, you know, some of the big ones. Yeah. Oh. I, 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 you don't care. You just hope people see it and like it. Definitely. I, I agree. You know, that's a big and important factor in it. And, you know, there's a lot of shows that are successful. Sometimes, you know, they're bad. I remember there's a show I saw. I don't know if you know the Big Bang Theory, but um, there was a actress from that show and she had this new show that was directed by one of the actors from the Big Bang Theory. And it, the pilot aired, um, I think it was sometime last week. I don't remember the exact day. But call I me Kate. Yeah, call Something me Kate. Right, right. And I, I, I met, I know her. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, she was on, uh, but she was, she had her own show before. Which oh, right. was a Blossom. Kid. Blossom. Yeah. So, uh, and have you ever seen a thing called Ranch? It's on Netflix. I'm not familiar with that. Also. Okay, uh, the the main guy is uh, Ashton Kutcher, and 
I thought, I don't want to see this. A cowboy thing doesn't turn me on and stuff. Yeah. I watched all of them because half the people from two and a half men came, half the people from 70s show came. He just had a group of different people there that you recognize and you felt uh, and watched. I, I always wanted a sitcom. I didn't want to be movies as much as I wanted to do a sitcom. Right. So that's my push for this year. That's what I want to do. Well, that's that's a, that's a, that's a good goal to have. I just made like a goal list for the year uh, a couple of days ago. You know, this way it's good to set um, goals for yourself. And one of the goals on that list was seeing Cobra Kai season four by this time next year. So hopefully, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So we used now to... now let me ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. Hit me with it, man. How long have you been doing this, and how old are you, and how many viewers do you have? Because I'm doing it just to, just a kick ass to do it. But are you are you planning to make this? You know, if you get enough people on YouTube, you get something, some kind of money. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm still young, you know. Uh, relative- I'm gonna say 14. <laughs> good guess, 13. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll be honest with you about the views. I mean, it varies per video, you know, like the interviews usually get like 100 to 200. Sometimes one of the Cobra Kai updates videos got like a thousand. But but if I'm being honest with you, some of the average videos get like 20 views, maybe. Hey, better than all right. You got to start. You got to start somewhere, right? Like, yeah, look at. Steve Harvey, look at his story. He was living in the car. Now he's one of Dwayne Johnson. He was homeless. Look at him. He's one of the highest paid actors, one of the richest people. In the- Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. No, I know. I, 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 I understand. Yeah. And that's, that's okay because they didn't stop. They pursued and they got it. I also have uh, some of my, you know, friends who helped me run the channel. One of them wanted to ask you a question about Cobra Kai, so I'll just let them hit you with it. Okay. Yeah. Are I you have... going to ask or they're going to come on? Oh, they're coming on. No, yeah, on. I have a question. So uh, is there anyone, like, on the Cobra Kai cast that you would like to, like, work with? Like, maybe on, like, a different show, like, like in the future or that, like, you're, like, you know, just... Well, like... I, I was telling uh, our interviewer I made a movie a couple of years ago with uh, uh, Marty Cove, and he played uh, an Iranian mallet. I think that's how you pronounce it. He was a judge after the revolution, and he just brought in people and said, you stole money from the government. And they said, no, 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 chop his head off. And they <laughs> chopped his head off. And it, it, that not only is true, I had no clue it was Marty. That's how good he was. Mm-hmm. So the, there's nobody, I, there's no, the only person I wouldn't work with is somebody who thinks their stool doesn't stink. I, and my dad uh, uses that exact figure of speech. And those are the, you, you see, you know, I've been, I've known you for like 20 minutes and I'm a big fan of you on the show. And, you know, but, I generally have decent instincts with person. I can just tell that like, you're a sweetheart. You're a nice guy. You're the type of person that, you know, no one has a bad word about. Just a generally nice all around guy. So That's cause I'm a Gemini. You haven't met the other half. <laughs> so um, have, do you, do you, have you ever uh, seen pro wrestling? Do you like pro wrestling at all? I watched it when I was like six or seven. Yeah. And I remember my grandfather really, really liked it. Yeah, and there was a guy named the Destroyer, mm. and he wore a cap and stuff. And it was a lot of that, a lot of Mexican wrestling. Yeah. Because I didn't understand it. But after that, nothing. I don't like physical sports unless it's intimate. Otherwise, forget it. I don't like football. I don't, I, I'm not good at it. I'm too yeah. short and fat. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm I'm tall and fat, so I feel you. <laughs> but um, out of you know some of the big shows, other than like Cobra Kai, like if you were just sitting down 
watching TV um, over the years and rerun show on now, what would be like your preference, like your favorite show to watch out of a show that like you could pick to watch? West Wing. West Wing. I just, first I watched it with the family in the eighties and just now about three months ago, two months ago, I finished the whole eight seasons again. Mm-hmm. And now I'm, and I already seen it. Now I'm watching because I don't have anything else to watch. I started watching some of the Marvel stuff and yeah. I started with uh, the descendants and stuff, but my go-to was the uh, uh, ranch and that's eight seasons I watched. And now I just started uh Grey's, Grey's Anatomy. Oh uh, yes, that's Grey's Anatomy. That's I, I know a lot of people like it. Personally, I've never seen it. Uh some of Good. I, because at 13, you shouldn't be sitting in your room talking to a computer. Yeah, no. Or I, watching I, shit on your computer. You should be going out and living. So when you go out and live, take a piece of paper with you so you can write down the most weird, unusual things that happen to you because that's your show. Oh, there's there's been a lot of those <laughs> over the past year, but yeah, I do, I try and get out. Like I like adventuring. Now, sometimes if I'm with my uncles and we're going for lunch, they, they say, let's go to a restaurant. I say, nah, let, you know what, let's just drive. Let's turn at a random exit and let's go to the restaurant and we'll just see the adventure that awaits there. Because, you know, I, I like adventure. I'm a, I'm a big fan of just kind of doing things. now. Have you ever seen Seinfeld? And what do you think of uh, Seinfeld? <laughs> uh, so you want to be my latex salesman? What? Oh, you you know Seinfeld, but you don't know that. <laughs> I know I know no soup for you. I I've seen I've seen most episodes. I've I've seen you know a d- decent amount. Like with Seinfeld, like I haven't seen the whole thing. Like there's episodes that like I repeatedly watch on loop. George George wanted a job. He was trying to get a job. Yeah, selling bras. <laughs> and he told uh, Kramer, if anybody calls and asks for me. Don't be stupid and stuff and everything. (laughs) So he went to the bathroom. Now the call comes and George is coming back with his pants and underwear at his ankles. (laughs) And they hang up on the guy because there's nobody with that name. And he says, but I told you. And when he's coming out and he's looking like a fool, uh, Jerry says, and you want to be my latex salesman? Like, you're an idiot. Whatever, I would never let you be my salesman. And there must be a thousand of them. We, we watched it as a family. We still watch it on reruns. He's, it was great. And he bowed out and left when it was on top. It was, it was a great show. It was not your generation, yeah. but the generation before you, their, their, uh, their real staple show. Yeah, Your no. generation show is probably going to be Cobra Kai. Isn't that yeah, amazing? It is because you know me and all my friends. Um, we we all watch Cobra Kai. There's like I don't think I have a friend that does it, or at least hasn't heard of Cobra Kai, because you know I I talk about it so much. I eat, sleep, breathe Cobra Kai. You know everything uh, that I do is Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, because I just love it so much. And you know other things I like to do. I like to ride my bike around my town. I like to you know go out as a it, That's good. As I've seen said before, but circling back to Cobra Kai, um, where would you like to see the character of Armand go in future seasons, uh, season four and beyond? Where would you like to see his directing? Because the character is really like kind of a plot device that you know moves the plot forward in terms of you know being. All right. Okay. Let me tell you. I got beat up. Yeah. I got beat up. And you didn't even see my two guys. I don't know where the hell they are. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm on the phone going, this isn't going to work. I can't, no boy, no LaRusso. I can't do it. Now, what happens after? I assume that I'm going to be allied with uh, uh, Johnny and 
uh, Ralph and do something, we're going to take over. But that would close it. That would mean, okay, we got rid of uh, 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 Cobra Kai and now what do we do? <laughs> so you want to know what I think I, my character, my character, how to get. All right, ask me another question. Let me think about that. Okay. Um, did you learn anything like about karate from the show? Did you have any background in karate? Anything with karate? I had no background and I learned to duck. To duck. I mean Yeah, you gotta learn to duck because these people they they are trained to hit. So you just gotta duck. But right. no, I gotta tell you, I, I I never got into that. I did mention that maybe I should take karate lessons. Uh Okay, I know what I got. I got an idea. I want, after they beat me up, after they beat me up, uh, I open a dispensary on my own property so I don't have to deal with the landlord. And Cobra Kai becomes my, the guys at the counter. <laughs> And I'm and I'm protected by Cobra Kai. So now, Johnny and uh, Ralph have two enemies, <laughs> not just uh, Cobra Kai, but me doing something I shouldn't be doing. Maybe we'll see so, Johnny because Johnny's the type, especially if you know Armand was to do that. Johnny's definitely the type that would come after Armand and just beat on him and beat on Armand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Just as long as it's not the real beat. Yeah. As long, yeah. Right. So how do, how does the stunts work in the show? Because the stunt work is really solid. The fight choreography is just absolutely fantastic. I, I, I know it is, but I have never been while they were doing that. Right. So, and I'm sure because you don't want any one of those kids to get a scratch because mm -hmm. then they can't work. Right. Now this is a bit of a random question, but on set is the food good? <laughs> the food, do they have solid food on set? Yeah, yeah, the first, the first time I ate in Atlanta with them, they served us lobster. I'm allergic to lops. I'm allergic to seafood and uh, nuts. So, you know, can't really have that stuff, but. I'm not. Yeah. And it's really expensive. Uh huh. It is. And we're eating lobster. So if you're eating lobster on the first season, you can figure the food's going to be pretty darn good all throughout. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's good. Yeah, I'm. I'm. A, I'm a big fan of food. You know, I. I I'm. I, I'm trying to lose some weight because you know, I'm. I'm. A, I'm a little overweight, but you know, I. Excuse me. Change the subject. Do not talk about fat people with a fat person. <laughs> okay. I mean, you've you've definitely lost some weight, though. I mean, come yeah, 120 pounds. Wow. So is there any details you'd like to share about you know like how to do that, how to go about you know trying to eat healthy and trying to lose weight trying to oh it's very simple very simple a beautiful girl comes up to you and you say hi and she says you're fat <laughs> finish it's it's done it's done that's no reason to eat till death oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that was very very. But it, but uh, I I mean it was it was great. So I, I really had a great experience. I've been on a lot of sets. I've mm -hmm. done a lot of work. Uh, uh, did you ever see the movie Holes? Holes. I have seen. Yeah, you are in Holes. That's right. You are. I I, yeah. I saw it a few years ago. I saw. It, I want to say like 2017. So like three years ago, I saw it. But I did enjoy it with Stanley, and then he gets hit with the shoes. Three years ago when you were 10. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. There's a lot of stuff going to happen. There's only one thing I hope you know. Yeah. The, the difference between right and wrong. Mm -hmm. So if you do that and you know it's wrong, you don't do it. Right. You just... Then there's sometimes stuff that's wrong where you got to do it. And one of so. the quotes from uh, Bobby, Rob Garrison, to Johnny, he goes, you know, doing... You don't move do your hand away from your mouth. Sorry. 
You know, really, you can't talk. <laughs> Am I, I, I? Obviously, I'm your first interview, right? Mm, third. Who are the other two? Jeff Kaplan, who plays Cruz, and then Matt Lewis, who plays Ron. Okay, cool. I mean, if you're going to do this, you have to have a questions. You have to have st uh, your stuff that you need to use. Your uh, and don't talk like this. Don't talk like this. Don't you got to? Your picture is prevalent. Everybody has to see it. They, they're you're you're doing the interview. Mm -hmm. Um, is so that really your hair? Uh, yes. No, no, no. I mean the ponytails. Ponytail. No, that's uh the back of the head. Oh. Okay. Um, there's there's an, another show which is a karate show. I mean it's more designed towards kids, but I was wondering if you've ever seen it. It's, a, it's actually called um kicking it. That's not a a, a show about fried chicken. Oh no, it's a show about karate. Because there's a place out here called kicking it, fried chicken. <laughs> So I, right. I no, I've never seen it. What's is it? Kids again? Is it <laughs> yeah. young kids? Yes. Now I have another question for you. You're you're from LA, right? Or uh, located in LA. So is In and Out Burger actually as good as they say? Did In and Out Burger actually what? Is In and Out Burger as good as they say? It's supposed to be like the best. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome. It's it good. started here in LA, and I think there's couple of them like in Vegas one and stuff but I haven't been to in and out probably in six days <laughs> six days so, and I always get mine no bun no bun just that's let us wrap my, my uncle my dad they do the same thing because they, they're trying to cut calories by doing the no bun thing no it works you gotta <laughs> stop something without you know you got you got to. The reason I really lost a lot of weight, I didn't eat. Just, just like fasting and stuff. Yeah, I ate one meal during the day. Right. Right. So, uh, Borat, Sasha, Baron Cohen. What, what was he like to work with? Like, was was he, was he like a prick? Was he nice? Oh, look at that! I got a call. Uh, okay. I got a decline. All right, are you coming back? Yeah, let me give the interview person a tip. Mm -hmm. We, the people being interviewed, don't want to talk about the negatives of anybody. Yeah. Not good business. Uh -huh. So what was the question? <laughs> I was asking what it was like to work with, uh, with uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, it was exciting. Mm -hmm. No script, just a, a, a treatment. And we go, for instance, we went to buy a car or get a car. Mm -hmm. We went to hunt a, a, a Audi. No, not Audi. It was a big, big, big uh, uh, car. Big car. Uh, and the guy said, and everybody who went to said, no, you can't get anything like that for that money. And that's not what we wanted to hear. We wanted to hear somebody say, oh, that's all you got? I think I can work it out. And then you go to the next one. So Hummer, we were buying a Hummer for $700. And we went to the next one. There was a lot of uh, uh, reality. This was a whole thing of seeing how people would react. So, so uh, it's one forty nine. Just to let you know, person who doesn't have a clock. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I guess maybe we could go like another ten minutes or so. Um, so, do you have a favorite character on Cobra Kai? Oh yeah, Armand. <laughs> oh, besides Armand, is there a favorite character? I I like uh, uh, Manuel. No, what, what's his name? The Daniel? guy's in the hospital. Oh, Miguel. Yeah, 
Yeah, Miguel. He's, I think Miguel yeah. and the other guy that put him in the hospital. Yeah, they've got what it's to take to be a star. They're, they're going to be in movies. Whatever uh, uh, Cobra Kai does, they better make, sign a contract because those two guys yeah. have it. They, they, they have the it factor. I definitely agree with you. Yeah, Perf- and they're good. They're good in the role. They especially Miguel because I think this was his first role, or at least his first prominent role. I it. don't know. All yeah. I know is they have captivated everybody's interest. That's mm-hmm. good. Yeah, I mean, I, I think those are all the questions I got. But I mean, it means so much you coming on. I definitely learned a lot of lessons from you. So I appreciate that. Uh, I let me tell you what I want. What can you give me? What? Go get yourself educated. And when you have a powerful position, like getting people to get interviewed, or you're making your own movie, I'm going to be a lot older, and I'm not going to have a work, so you better come and find me. I'll, 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 I'll keep your number in my contacts, man. When I... When okay. I- when you know I'm on top, you know, creating this big show, and I need a grandpa character, I've got. You got it. You got it. That's that's why I do these things, all these things with young people, uh-huh. because the future, man. That's it. Future, right here, baby. <laughs> thank, you got it. Thank you, everyone. All right. Uh, watching this, thank you so much. Uh, catch um, Kevin, Ken Devitin, and peace out, guys. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Start, start a career. I love it. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye.